from the Fort Myers. But sometimes I think some people can think you can be too good an athlete. And I think the 49ers are thinking that. You know, this week his picture is on the cover of Sports Illustrated, but it could also be on the San Francisco 49ers bulletin board with the heading "Wanted, Dead or Alive." Deion Sanders is about as popular in San Francisco as the Richter scale these days. To say Deion had a tough day at the office yesterday would be understating it. He was knocked around, burned by Jerry Rice for a couple of touchdowns, and the Niners 45-3 romp. But he made all the highlight films, not for any good plays, but for this blow to the head on Keith Henderson. Ouch! Still the fans at boob prime time won't get the time of day from Deion. Yeah, I don't care, but you know, those guys got to get up and go to work in the morning about 6. And I'm, you know, I have the day off tomorrow. And I might just go to the bank and count my money. So I don't, I don't care about those people out there. Well, you never know. You might have to give up some of that money. So far, there's no word from the league on any possible fine for that hit. But fine or not, it was a cheap shot. And the Falcons and Niners play in Atlanta on December 3rd, and the Niners will not forget it. Well, another local guy is getting rewarded for his heavy hitting. Sun Sox outfielder Amos Otis was named the Senior Pro Baseball Association's first ever Player of the Week today. And why not? He said nine homers with 26 runs batted in while hitting 444 in 10 games. Otis and the Sox are back on the road tomorrow night and Wednesday night playing the Pelicans in St. Pete. Now, two more Major League players filed for free agency today, raising the final total to a record 90 big leaguers looking to sell their talents to the highest bidder. The big name looking for the biggest bucks, Expos pitcher Mark Langston, who's said to be seeking something in the $3 million a year range. One big name who's also looking for another team, but not by choice, is outfielder Jim Rice, who was released by the Red Sox today. Rice hit 382 homers and drove in nearly 1,500 runs in 16 years of Fenway Park, but he and his multi-million dollar salary just didn't fit into the Sox plan, so they gave him his walking papers today. Now, if you listen closely, I think you can hear one of the sounds of winter. That is a basketball. It's not Patrick. You're dribbling again, Patrick. The college season is about to fast break back into your hearts. The preseason AP poll out tonight. The running revs of UNLV, the number one pick, and they're out in front of LSU, who with sophomore sensation Chris Jackson wouldn't be a bad pick for number one. They got 14 first place votes. Defending champ Michigan is fourth going in. Arizona, who finished last season ranked number one, is sixth. They and Arkansas got one first place vote apiece. Missouri, Louisville, UCLA, Indiana, and Temple run 11th through 15th. Notre Dame is number one in football, number 17 in basketball going in, and the Florida Gators, despite all the problems they've had, are ranked 22nd in the country. LSU and Florida, the only SEC teams in the poll. That is a switch. Well, in NBA action, the Magic lost to the Hawks for the second time in 48 hours. Tonight in Orlando, and even stuff the Magic Dragon couldn't do anything about it. First quarter, Sam Vincent on the drive for two of his 17. One thing about the NBA, Sam, you got to get back there on defense or else they're going to work the old give and go on you like Spud Webb to Antoine Carr for the jam. 30 to 24, Hawks after one, and Mike Fratello was getting ready to go to Epcot. The Magic kept fighting down by 12, Sydney. Green down low to Jerry Reynolds for the slam. It was 56-47 Atlanta at the half. The Magic, who lost by 39 to the Hawks Saturday night, kept it close. Dominique had 34 to lead the Hawks, who won at 112-104 tonight. Atlanta's two wins this season have both come against Orlando. The Magic falls to 2-4. and four. And the other game in the NBA tonight is at the half. The Jazz leads Washington 50-44. And finally tonight, the undefeated Baron Collier High Cougars finished a perfect regular season with a win over Port Charlotte last Friday night. Tonight, they're sitting pretty as the eighth-ranked team in the state in the latest Florida sports writers poll. The 10-0 Cougars will travel to District 11 champ Bradenton Southeast a week from Friday to open the Class 4A state playoffs. Collier's going to be tough to beat. With Terry Dean, who is an outstanding quarterback, Cougars didn't go 10-0 with mirrors. So they got a good team. They got a very outstanding team. Good team. Bradenton Southeast a good team, though, too. We'll have to see. All right. Thank you, Ken. Up next, fire up.